During Lent this year, we at the Church at Ponce and Highland are seeking to have an embodied faith in a virtual year. We have been learning and trying out different contemplative practices that help us get in touch with our spirituality through our bodies. These practices are meant to help us experience God's presence in our everyday lives. This week, we are going to look at play as a contemplative practice. <laughs> yeah, you heard that right, play. Play is a broad term that encompasses many different activities. And yes, this practice is for everyone, kids and adults alike. When we play without a goal in mind, such as a goal of being perfect or the best, we allow our mind to rest. And with our mind at rest, we open up our heart and mind to hear God's voice. There are many forms of play that include pretending, building and creating things, singing, coloring, and even playing catch. Today, I'm going to speak specifically about coloring as a contemplative practice. Now to color, you don't have to be a professional artist. You don't even have to be good at coloring. All you need is a coloring utensil, such as crayons or markers or colored pencils. And you need something to color on, like a blank piece of paper or a coloring book, an adult's coloring book or a children's coloring book. I personally prefer children's coloring books. And then you want to find a comfortable space, preferably away from big, any big distractions. You can play music quietly in the background if you would like, or maybe even light a candle. And then you just color. Color for the joy of it, without any goal in mind, and see what happens. When we color without a goal in mind, without trying to be perfect, without trying to make the most realistic picture. We allow our minds to pause and rest. For a few minutes or hours, we are able to tune out the noise or worry of our lives. Or at least we can turn the volume down on our worries for a few minutes. In this moment, we can be attentive to coloring and just coloring rather than worrying about tomorrow. We make room for joy to enter our hearts and to hear God's voice. This practice can be used with other forms of play too, painting or crocheting or even putting a puzzle together. Adapt the form of play that you choose to your own preferences. Maybe take chalk and go color outside on the sidewalk. Or draw using an app on your computer or phone. Or go to the park and practice your soccer dribbling. If you have kids around, join them for playtime. Remember, it doesn't matter how skilled you are at any form of play. The point is to create a moment in your day where you can quiet your mind and experience God's presence. So when done in a way, not overwhelmed by a goal to be perfect, any of these activities can ease our minds of the stresses of our day. With each puzzle piece and each stroke of color, we open our hearts and minds to another moment of joy and God's unconditional love. Thank mm -hmm. you.